Hi guys, happy Sunday. I am at work, I'm about to leave. I had to come in because I forgot to change my school password on my computer before I left for the holidays and it expires in like four days. Had to do that, otherwise I would have a world of issues when I came back to work. So now I'm gonna go home and start editing the videos that I filmed this morning. I have a visitor. We're gonna go for a walk. Mum and dad have gone out to visit some friends for the afternoon, so Benny is here with me. And he's very, very cuddly, hey? Say hello. What you got there, Benny? Hey. Are you going to tear it apart? So back at the start of quarantine, one of the girls at work started doing the diamond paintings and convinced me to buy some and I bought like seven of them but didn't get around to doing them. But I've made a tiny little start and I'm going to keep going in a moment. I'm just waiting for my books beside my bed video to export. Can I? Can I help you, Benny? Hey, if you're going to jump up on me, you can at least say hello to people on the camera. I don't know how much help you're going to be with diamond painting. But I thought I might try and do this one while I'm uploading that video this afternoon so we'll see how i go good morning guys happy monday yeah it's monday i have actually relatively tidied up my apartment which is like a first time in ages mostly because i've got the guy coming out to give me a quote on cleaning the apartment because of course you would clean the apartment before a cleaner comes through the bench is mostly clear and the table is mostly clear And even this space here, which is still a mess, is better than it was the other day. So this morning, aside from just tidying things up and taking things down to the bins and whatnot, I have been continuing to work on the gemstone painting that I started yesterday, because now I'm like obsessed. Like, this is how my mind works. And while I've been doing that, I've been listening to old episodes of the Wicked Wallflowers Club podcast. So it's actually been quite therapeutic, but now I think I'm gonna jump onto YouTube and catch up on things that have been released recently. This Happy Mail is a copy, a physical copy of This Is How It Always Is by Laurie Frankel, which I read earlier in the year thanks to Kathy's recommendation. And I found this on the book grocer for three dollars and it is brand new. So that is going on my shelf so that I can pretty much throw it at everyone else to read. We haven't had a plant update in a while mostly because I've actually been neglecting my plants and I need to get better at not doing that. It's what happens when you're exhausted. There is finally the new growth on the dragon tail. There is lots happening over here on this mini Monstera. Little baby leaves happening there in the Peperomia. I even think that this has started to grow after I took some cuttings from it. That's just going bonkers as per usual. I need to tidy up the this one, whatever that one's called. I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't know whether this one... Oh, yes, finally, it's starting to grow again. Okay, that's exciting because it wasn't doing anything for a while. And that one just keeps flowering. So that's good. And all of them need to be watered. And over here, everything's going pretty well. This is still growing. And very excitingly, this has just had a new growth. This was a cutting I took ages ago and just shoved back into the pot. And it wasn't doing anything. It didn't do anything for months, but it started growing, which is great. And the chain of hearts is uh, doing its thing. And I don't think I updated you guys that, so the cleaner came, gave me a quote, so they're coming back tomorrow to clean my apartment, which is exciting. That's going to be done in the morning. I finished off the gemstone painting, which I'll show you in a minute. I've just got to duck downstairs to the bank and go get money out for the cleaner tomorrow. And I might go get some snacks. I have been writing book reviews. I wrote two. I'm really slow at writing them, but I've got two, no, three more physical book reviews and three neck alley reviews so I want to get through a couple of those today and get them scheduled and ready to go. I'm really bad because when I start writing them I just post them one after the other and I should just schedule them so they come out one day after each other but that would mean I'm organized and thinking ahead. So I'm going to duck downstairs, go to the bank, go to the shops and come back. Someone stop me. I think I've requested like 15 books from Neck Alley. Tonight I'm going to 
read Deviate by J. Kristoff because this has been on my TBR for ages and I need to read it because I have the review copy of the next book so it's sort of like it it has to be done good morning guys happy Tuesday yes it is nearly 11 o'clock I have just had the people come in to clean my oven and clean my apartment so it's all looking very nice and tidy which is nice and I actually spent some time sitting outside and watching the Be About It conference, which is part of Get Your Teach On. And it's their way of talking about impact of teachers teaching black students in the classroom, which is really fantastic so far. I've watched about an hour and a half, which has been great. So yes, now I'm gonna eat some food and I have an exercise physiology assessment today because I want it at the start of the year. So I'm gonna go to it and see what it's like, I don't know. Hi guys, I'm back from my appointment and it was good because I got to talk about my shoulder which has been giving me some trouble for the last couple of months and I have some exercises to do for it, which is great. I've also been out to the supermarket to buy some things. Tonight's dinner plans include a spaghetti squash bolognese, I suppose. We'll see how it turns out. It's a three ingredient recipe, so I don't think I can stuff it up too badly. Here is the finished dinner, spaghetti squash bolognese and it smells delicious and I can't wait to eat it. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. It's two o'clock and I've been home all day so I don't exactly know why I haven't picked up the camera. Just been busy, I guess. I have just finished another one of the diamond paintings, Cheshire Cat, and I'm also spending some time watching and unpacking the Be About It teacher conference. Just kind of been a very slow, cruisy sort of day. I have Pilates later tonight, but I wanted to spend a little bit of time starting The Old Lie by Claire G. Common. This is part of my Tome Infinity TBR, but it's also my staff book club book for the month. I've got tabs and questions and things going because I can't find any book club questions for it at the moment. So I'm having to make notes and I'm going to have to think of questions. I'm not good at thinking about book club questions. I like it when other people who are smarter than I am have already done that, but yeah, we'll see. But I am enjoying it. I'm about 100 pages in, so I'm about a third of the way through. So I'm going to keep reading and then I'm going to get changed for Pilates very soon. Won't lie, Pilates kind of killed me today. All right, so I've had a shower. I've had dinner, which was basically the same as last night. I did the other half of the spaghetti squash and finished off the meat sauce. And now I've made myself a smoothie, which has half a banana, some frozen raspberries. Actually, the banana was frozen too. So half a frozen banana, half some raspberries, some dragon fruit, chia seeds, some vanilla protein powder and coconut water. So I'm gonna have that and I'm gonna go back to finishing off the old line. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I'm actually up early. I've got a couple more sessions from the Be About It conference to watch today. And I'm thinking I might try and make some cashew butter today. That might be my goal if I've got enough cashews, I'll see how I go. There it is in a jar. I've got a little bit left over that I'm gonna make for a few other people, but it's pretty tasty. So yeah, it's not overly strong though. Hi guys, it's just after 11 and I've just finished up reading for the day. I've got a few bits and pieces that I want to do and tidy up before I go to bed, but I managed to read three science fiction novellas and one full historical romance book. This is what holidays do to me. Pretty much been camped out on the couch since about four o'clock, except for dinner. And I did watch an episode of Westworld, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, happy Friday. I'm just having my breakfast. It is a banana, peanut butter, cacao powder, chia seed and almond milk smoothie because I contemplated leaving my apartment to go buy myself a smoothie and then I went I've got all the things here to make one and I should just make one but I'm just catching up on YouTube and chilling out I think today's gonna be a couch day I'm I'm feeling pretty tired actually I slept in I actually got woken up by the postal people because I was that tired so yeah I think today I will just chill out and it's pretty gray and overcast outside as well so if I do go out to get a couple of bits and pieces it will be a very quick trip outside and then back in, I think. It's raining outside, so this is perfect reading weather. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's quarter to eight. It's really early for me. I was having a nice sleep in, but I've got Pilates, so I'm going to go up and do that class for 40 minutes and then come home. Okay, I've been back from Pilates for a while. It's 10 o'clock, <clears throat> sorry. Had to check the, uh, the clock. And I've decided to do something really stupid. I've decided to reorganize my shelves again. I was gonna film it and then I decided I really couldn't be bothered. So I'll just sort of give you guys a bit of a sneak peek in this vlog. I have decided to put all of my 
romance slash paranormal slash urban fantasy romance books together on the shelf because why not but um yes that involves some massive reorganizing this last night where i decided i would actually take the majority of my star wars books off my shelf so i still have two shelves of star wars books but these ones are going to end up in a storage box because i'm not going to be rereading them anytime soon currently this is what the star wars shelves now look like and i have a bit of space to play with now um, because i will keep collecting the books um, i just wanted to keep my favorite series like the x-wing series the Thrawn books, the Legacy of the Force books. I think I've also got, oh gosh, I'm having a mental blank. I've got the New Jedi Order books, which I actually really want to reread. That might be next year's project is to reread the New Jedi Order books and some of my specialty Star Wars books over there. I'm finished with my shelves and I made a few changes. So previously my shelves went from alphabetical by author surname from A across the shelves and then we'd moved down rows. So now it goes alphabetical from top to bottom and that's everything adult YA that's not romance. And it's from there to there. No, down there. So it's five shelves, no, six shelves on the first bookshelf, three on the second and two on, and two on the third because that makes sense because I've got everything else in the middle of it. I've got my Star Wars books. I've got some non-fiction, non-fiction and graphic novels, which I might actually eventually swap the graphic novels over to this side because I actually access, no, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm still thinking out loud here. And then on the other side, these two shelves now became the romance shelves I'll show you in a minute, my TBR shelf and then some DVD shelves. But yes, I'm happy to have my romance-ish books all together for the time being. Hi guys, happy Sunday. Clearly I have not uploaded this vlog yet, so that's going to be today's project. I am actually thinking I'm going to take at least the next week off from vlogging, which is kind of crazy because I am at home, so I do have things to film, but I'm just really, really tired at the moment. So I want to give myself an actual break and sort of just stick to my regular booktube videos. I mean, this may change. I may, I may end up filming a vlog but I think I just want to give myself a break for at least one or two weeks to get back into things. So stay tuned. I'll let you guys know what's happening soon. But I hope that you've enjoyed the vlogs. I hope that you've enjoyed this week. I hope that wherever you are, you're staying safe and healthy and you're looking after yourself and your loved ones. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye guys.